What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your custom expression maps inside of Cubase. So let's get right to it. Okay, so we're going to start right from zero. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a contact instrument and I'm going to switch it up and use a percussion instrument for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and use Hans Zimmer's timpani from the Hans Zimmer percussion library, Spitfire. And I'm going to create these expression maps, which is essentially going to trigger key switches inside of the actual piano roll. So that way I don't have to actually physically write a note for each of these key switches. And I'm going to actually put this up to a note where we can visibly see it change inside of contact. So I'm going to go ahead and choose C0 as my first note for the key switch. That way we can see it here and see how it changes when I set up the expression map. So now the second thing I need to do is make sure I open up the expression map window on the left side here which is by clicking this left tab on the top right corner. If you don't see the expression map here, you can always hit this little gear sign here and then you're gonna see expression map. Make sure this is checked. If it's not checked, you're gonna see it like this. And to enable it, we're going to make sure that it's checked. As soon as we do that, we have two ways of seeing this. We can actually see it here in the project menu or if you create a region, which we're going to do right here. And we go into the piano roll section you're gonna see that you can find it right here on the top. So either or works, we're gonna go ahead and hit expression map setup and then you're gonna get this window pop up. This is where we're gonna create our custom expression maps for this timpani. That way we can use the expression map again instead of drawing in these little notes here and there. And in case you wanna transpose anything, then you don't need to worry about any of the key switches moving. So let's go ahead and set it up. I'm gonna show you a cool way that you can auto populate this so that we can work a little bit quicker in the library. So we're gonna go ahead and just create our map and we're gonna call this expression map Hans Zimmer timpani. Once we do that, I'm only gonna do it for like the first, I guess we'll do it for all six. So let's go ahead and get six slots here. And then instead of going in and typing in the number of the key switch or the letter and number of the key switch, I'm gonna show you a cool way to do it. So if you go here to the root note, you can actually assign from where you want the remote keys to start. So for example, this one is C0, my first key switch is C0, and then it goes up chromatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it at C0, and then I'm gonna hit set remote keys. Now it's gonna open up this window and for some reason it's blocking the other menu here, but if this happens to you, just kind of click around and you're gonna see that a dialog will pop up telling you how you want your keys after the first one to be labeled. So you can label them just white keys, you can label them just black keys. In this case, I'm gonna choose chromatic because again, in the library I have C0, then I have C sharp zero, then D0, D sharp zero. So I'm gonna leave it at chromatic and then when I hit okay, it's gonna auto populate all of these on their own so you don't have to do them one by one. Now here I do have to rename this one by one. So we're gonna call this the heart sticks. I'm just gonna do a short version to put HS. We're gonna call this SS. We're gonna call these, we could actually just type the name rods, it's a short one. Now we're gonna do HR for hard roll, soft roll SR, and then we're gonna do RR for rods roll. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna assign the key switch now to these parameters. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the first one, go to where it says output mapping. I'm gonna hit the plus sign and then it's gonna be no on, that's the command we want. And we want this to be C0 and that's it. You go ahead and do it for the rest of them. So this one's going to be C sharp zero. Keep going. This is just a little part that you have to do a little bit of the setup a bit of tedious work here, but at the end, once you have all these expression maps laid out, it's going to help you greatly. If you're not one to set up all of your articulations on their own and you like using expression maps, then this is a great way to do it. So here I have all of my key switches enabled. So here, oh, I messed up. I put E to be F zero. And then, so we have F zero, E zero, D sharp, D, C sharp, and C, good. 
So now we're going to go ahead and assign the articulation to these. So we already gave the note command that we want this to be triggered, but now we need to name it something so that when we use the expression maps and we see them in the piano roll, we know which of these is what. So the first one, you could use some of these techniques and mainly they're for string instruments like arco, pizzicato, because that's generally where you would use key switches. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a custom. I like labeling them custom because I name them however I want. So here in the articulation side of it, I'm going to put text instead of symbol. So I'm just going to go ahead and write the abbreviation I put here. So this is hard sticks and then it'll auto populate here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the C sharp zero. I'm going to go to add custom and you could do text and then SS. Same thing here for rods, custom. And again, you could choose any of the other ones. If you like using the, the ones that come with Cubase, you could definitely do it. Um, you don't have to do it this way, but I choose to do it because I like naming it and it being custom to my workflow. So this is going to be called HR for hard roll. The next one is going to be soft roll, SR. And then the last one is going to be the rod row. And we're going to do RR. So now that we have it set up, there's another thing you need to understand about the type of expression map that you're using here. There are two types. There's attribute and there is direction. So the main difference between the two is when you have an attribute as a, an expression map, that means whatever length of the note that you have on your piano roll, it's going to take the length of that note. Whereas direction is you play it and it's a duration for however long you apply it until you switch to a different one. So I'm going to go ahead and actually leave this an attribute to show you and then make sure you save. You're going to call it Hans Zimmer Timpani and then I'm just going to save it to my desktop and then I'm going to close this because we are already done in the setup. I'll go ahead and switch it to direction later so that way you can see it. So let's just go ahead and populate this with a couple notes. And let's say let's see, C2, then we go up here. I'm just drawing notes here, it's not really gonna make any sense. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this a few times, let's just say four times. So now what we need to do is set up our articulation. So inside of the piano roll, you're gonna go up where you press expression map setup and you're gonna choose the Hans Zimmer timpani, which is the one that we made right now. And now you're gonna see in the bottom here, it's gonna populate all of the articulations that we set up here. And if you don't see this, you can always hit the plus sign, go to where it says articulation slash dynamics, and then this is where it pops up. You can also hold command here and then click on the articulation thing and change it here. In case it's, let's say, in velocity, you want to change this, go to articulation and dynamics. Again, we left it in attribute mode. So watch this. If I click on this one note and I go to where it says articulation here. Now you see that all of the custom articulations that I made are going to be found here. And let's say I want the first one to be a roll, a hard roll. That means that now this articulation is only going to be the length of this one beat right here. And if you look down here, we have the blue circle saying that it's for the duration of this one note. If I go here and I switch it now to, let's say, a hard strike or a hard stick, and then for this one, I'm going to choose rod, and then for this one, I'm going to choose a soft roll. Let's hear the first measure of this. So now let's see what's happening inside of contact. So right now, I'm going to go back. We're going to see these key switches move. But now you saw that it went back to C0. It went back to the hard sticks. Now why? Because again, we set it up as an attribute. It's going to go automatically back to what its default is, which is the C0 hard sticks, because we only made the key switch or the expression map for in effect for that one note in the particular area of the piano roll. What if we go back to the expression map and now we change this instead of attribute, we choose direction. So I'm going to do it for each of them and leave them in direction. 
you could choose it however you see fit, however helps you in your workflow a little bit better. So this is with it in direction. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this again. I'm gonna replace it and then I'm gonna close this. So now here we're back in and now watch what happens. If we want to change any of these expression maps, we need to actually draw in with the pencil. But now look at this. It takes the duration of the entire region that we have MIDI on. Now, unless I change it somewhere, so let's say now from here on I want rods, it will automatically cut this one short. Let's say here I want a soft roll, and then I want a hard roll, and then I want soft sticks to rods. There I have my expression map. And let's see what it sounds like. And let's go ahead and open up contact one more time to check out what's going on in the key switches. And now notice that if I actually drag this on a little bit more, look what happens to the attribute in the bottom. It stays enabled until the end of it, until I tell Cubase to switch the articulation is going to continue holding this articulation. One more thing to kind of note is that if you're inside, let's say the rods, it will keep the rods articulation on and when you play it, have rod articulation. If you move your cursor to where it says soft sticks, the articulation will change at the moment of where the cursor is. Hard roll. So again, you see the power of using either direction or you can use the attribute version of these expression maps. Each of them have their advantage and disadvantage. But at the end of the day, this is whatever is going to help your workflow. But now you know how to set up both of these expression maps and you can create your own custom expression maps for whatever library you're using. If you have any questions, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go ahead and check it out. The link will be down below in the description. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.